Peggy Patch, and it's a busy day today. I'm in my pantry. There's plenty of things to eat. We're going to make and bake and play all day, and there's lots of friends to meet. Oh, there's Teresa. Hello, Teresa. Hello, Peggy. Are you going to help me today? We've got lots of cooking to do. Oh, yes, of course I'll help you. Mm. I love cooking. Do you? Mm. What are we going to make? Oh, lots and lots and lots of things. I'm going to have a tea party for my toy friends, you see, and I've made a list of things that we all like to eat down there. Oh, is it down here, is it? Oh. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a very long list. <laughs> we are going to be busy today. Mm. I think you could do with some helpers. Mm, I know. So why don't you go and collect the children? and They'll be able to help us too. That's a good idea. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. And I've got another idea. Come on, let's go this way. <laughs> I told you I had a brilliant idea. This is John. He's a real chef because he's got the big hat on like mine. <laughs> John? Please will you help us make some special yummy things to eat today? Yeah, sure I can, Peggy. What would you like? Um, how about popcorn? Can you make popcorn? Yeah, of course I can. Let me show you. Great. I'll stay over here because the cooker might get a bit hot. Yeah. You carry on. Is the weasel. Half a pound of tuppenny rice, half a pound of treacle. Mix it up and make it nice. Pop goes the weasel. <laughs> down the step. Oh, big jump. There we go. <laughs> this is Alexander and Ewan. And we're very pleased you've come to the patch stop today because Peggy needs some helpers. And she's very busy making all sorts of exciting things to eat. Now, before we do anything, we've got to find Peggy first, haven't we? Yeah. Let's see if we can find any picture clues. Yeah. This way. So, John, can you make me some of those lovely little cakes? Yeah, sure. Right. What you have to do? Oh, butter, sugar, stir it up, one egg, <laughs> it's fast. <laughs> John's folding the flour in now. A stir for me, a stir for you, a stir for Poppy and Whitebird too. <laughs> This is, it's a piping bag. Oh, and those are little paper cases. John's spooning all the mixture into the bag. Four. Perfect. Now, they're ready to go into the oven. Yeah. 
yum, yum. They look really delicious. Too good to eat, almost. <laughs> Thanks, John. I can cross these off my list now. I'll see you later. Bye. Right, why don't we have a good look over this way? A big field over here. Watch the hole. Oh, look, there's a feeding trough here. Got to look for a picture clue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Now pick it up. Can you read? Oh, you got to read. Oh, I can read just about. There we are. It's a bun, isn't it? Nice bun. That's because Peggy's doing all sorts of food today, isn't she? So she's got a food clue. Right, now, the clue says, follow the peg along the path. The next clue's ice and very nice. Hey. Well, I think I know what that could be. Now, which way was it pointing? It's pointing that. over that way, wasn't it? So we've got to go back along onto the path. Okay. So around here, back on the path. <laughs> now we've got to keep our eyes peeled. I walk along here, look along the bushes. There's some more blackberry bushes here. All the blackberries have gone now. The next clue's ice and very nice. I think it might be my favourite food. Oh dear. Oh, well done. That's why right. it was an ice cream. Yeah. Now the pig's pointing that way. We've got to remember that. Now, the clue says, I'm rosy and red. I grow on a tree. But look around in case I fall into the ground. Oh no, what is this? Oh, is that Oh, an apple. Yes, it could be. Let's go along here. There might be something along the hedge. Yeah! <gasps> you and you found it. That's an apple. I love oh, apple. well done. Now let's see what the clue it's says. Oops, the pig's way. come off. There we go. Uh, right. I know where it was pointing down that way. It was way. pointing this way, wasn't it? So yeah. it says, make strides like a giant and count to ten. Yeah. Look all around and you'll find Peggy's den. Right, strides like a giant, everyone. Big strides. I think it's down here. Got a funny feeling. This way. <gasps> there she is. Hello there. Oh, hello, Ewan. Hello, hello Alexander. Hello, Teresa. Do you want to sit down there yeah, on those two cushions there? there? Hey, it was nice to meet you. Did you like my trail? Oh, it was good, wasn't it? Did yeah. you? Fun. Alexander, which picture clues did you find then? Um, you remember? The ice cream. So, which picture did you find, Ewan? Apple. Did you? Do you know, apples are my favourite fruit. I think apples are scrumptious, don't you? Yes. yes I lovely. know a story about somebody else who likes rosy red apples. Will you read it, please, to Ewan? Oh, yes, I'd love to. Right, I'll just go find my storybook then. See you in a mo. Bye. Mr. McGee. Mr. McGee lived under a tree. One morning he woke up and said, It's time that I got out of bed. He put on his shirt and his trousers too. Then he pulled on his socks that were bright, bright blue. He pulled on his shoes, fed the cat, and then he didn't forget his coat or his hat. I'm ready for anything now, sang he. I'm brave and I'm clever. I'm Mr. McGee. Then Mr. McGee looked down and found a bright red apple on the ground. He peeled it carefully, very thin, then gobbled up the wiggly skin. Now Mr. McGee began to grow. Outwards and upwards he seemed to go. Slowly and surely up went he, through the branches of the tree. Over the church and over the steeple and over the houses full of people. Look at me, he shouted down to all the people in the town. Mr. McGee was flying high until a curious bird flew by. Just nothing for my lunch, said she, and pecked him sharply. One, two, three. Down like a rock fell Mr. McGee. Through the branches of the tree until he landed on his head. Right in the middle of his bed. Ah, oh, that was a good story, Teresa. Shall we play our apple game now? Oh, yes. Right, here's my apple tree. How many apples are growing on the tree? Do you know? One, two, one, two, three, four, four, five. That's right. Five rosy apples. Do you want to start, Teresa? Oh, yes, OK. Here goes. Five rosy apples on Peggy's apple tree. Mm. If I pick, 
and eat one, how many will there be? Four! Four. Well done! Right! <laughs> now it's your turn, Pinky. Right. Four rosy apples on my apple tree. If I pick and eat one, how many will there be? Ewan. Three. Three. <laughs> Three. <laughs> well That's done. good. Well done. Now let's do it again. Here we go. Three, Three rosy, rosy apples, apples on Peggy's on apple tree. tree. If I pick, pick and eat one, how many, many will there, there be? be? Alexander. Oh, one, one, two. two. That's well right. Done. Well done. Now the last one. Two rosy Three. apples on Peggy's apple tree. If we pick one and eat one, how many will there be? One! One! one. That's right, <laughs> one left! <laughs> I've had another brilliant idea. I'm going to ask our chef John to make toffee apples. Come on, let's see if he's still in the kitchen. Dipping the apple in the toffee mixture. Oh, and into cold water so that it sets hard. There you have it, toffee apples. <laughs> Jelly. Look at that wibbly wobbling jelly. It's a big, big orange rabbit. Jelly on a plate, jelly on a plate. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, jelly on the plate. That's it. You sing with us. Jelly on a plate, jelly on a plate. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, jelly on a plate. Whoa! He <laughs> nearly hopped right off the plate then, didn't he? Yeah. like a nice cup of tea. Ah, lovely. That reminds me of a song I know. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spout. When the kettle's boiling, hear me shout. Tip me up and pour me out. <laughs> you know that one. You join in this time. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spout. When the kettle's boiling, hear me shout. Tip me up and pour me out. <laughs> oh, nice cup of tea. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, yummy. Mmm, <laughs> <gasps> wow. <laughs> what have we here? Ooh, even better. Mm -hmm. Now, what we need is something savoury. Mm. Any ideas? Mm. I know. How about hot dogs? Yes, I'll go and ask John to cook some sausages. Great. <laughs> Ten fat sausages sizzling in the pan. One went pop, another went bang. That leaves eight. Eight fat sausages sizzling in the pan. One went pop. Another went bang! Six sausages now. Six fat sausages sizzling in the pan. One went pop. Another went bang! Four fat ones left. Four fat sausages sizzling in the pan. One went pop. Another went bang! Two to go. Two fat sausages sizzling in the pan. One went pop. Another went bang! No more sausages. Ten fat sausages sizzling in the pan. <laughs> oh, and here are the bread rolls. Hot dogs will be just great for our party. They look really delicious. 
Mmm, yum, yum. Now, after all your hard work, I think you deserve a special treat. Do you fancy some ice cream? Yes. Yes. Well, I like, um, um, ice, um, uh, ice, um, I kind of one that's very hard. Very that hard? Oh, well, hopefully this won't be too hard. Now we've got chocolate, vanilla and strawberry. Oh. I want strawberry. I want strawberry. Oh, okay. strawberry. Oh, it's quite tough. Mm. Mm. This ice cream looks delicious, doesn't it? There you are. The strawberry one. Oh! There's the bus bell. It's time to go. We'd better call Peggy, haven't we? Peggy! Peggy, where are you? It's time to go. Oh, coming, Teresa. We're all just finishing our tea party. The food's really yummy. That's good. You all right, Mr Panda and Little Bear? Who likes the popcorn? <laughs> Isn't this fun, everyone? Yes! Mmm, this is yummy. This cherry cake is just perfect. Very tasty. How are you, hedgehogs? You enjoying your cake? Oh, yes, it's got hundreds and thousands on it. Don't eat too fast, will you? How are you, little monkey? It's a good hot dog, isn't it? That's very clever that you're eating with a knife and fork. Are you all right, Mr. Goat? Oh, that's a bit naughty. You've got two cakes there. And you've taken a bite out of both. How are you, Mrs. Chicken and Little Chick? Oh, that's very good. You're sharing your cherry bun. Is it nice, little chick? Rabbit jelly for anybody? No, silly. It's strawberry flavour. <laughs> How are you, Mr. Sheep? Are you enjoying your bun with hundreds and thousands on top? Oh, we've got some sweets for afters. <laughs> Before we go, I've got something to put in Peggy's patch pocket to remind her of her cooking day. It's a toffee apple, and I'll put it in the check pocket. There we are. Bye-bye. 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 Goodbye. Yum, yum. Toffee apples are my favourite. Goodbye. <laughs>